I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. I'm white. Any other like Africans or anybody with like any like Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally like a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to he's literally. His dad, wait, hold up. What? Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally like a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to. He's literally mixed with. Now you need to figure out who who what your dad is, cause uh yeah that's who you actually gonna be determining who you are. Man, he talking about some here mud. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, and Rosebud is actually my street name. My street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me. Hey, Fitzy. Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes. Fitzy. Fitzy. I think my strategy. Fitzy. As a grown man. <laughs> I'll let somebody call me Fitz, but Fitzy? Nah, that's not sliding with me. You're not about to call me Fitzy, bro. I'm sorry. Name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me by. They do Fitzy? Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was... Nah, Fitzy is wild. Just, just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? Nah, <laughs> that too, that too, you can't you even see him, that, what are you talking about, that, bro? That too. <laughs> I mean, right. You could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You that wasn't even that. funny. Can we all say what we're wearing and everything? I got a skeleton, all red, varsity jacket, cargo bro, pants you know on crazy. the side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> 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 I wish I could dap you up right now. I wish I could dap you up right now. Buddy. Wait, what type forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You feel right. Oh, I yeah. Said you said that. I did. You said half black, half white. Half black, half white. You feel me? No cap. I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that. My whole. Not gonna lie, them saying that they got the Air Force ones kind of, you know, what I'm saying already kind of give it away a little bit who's the mole right off the bat who's one of the brothers you feel me who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head it stink it stink real bad <laughs> chat that's a that's a black question right there hey if he was trying to get anybody he should have let everybody go or something like that i don't know how they would have done that but yeah that was a black question what are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion oh they played a lot of blues marvin c bobby blue Glenn. then when they got drunker it was tupac and his vocal inflections like it just it kind of it made, made me think of you know straight out of compton the movie maybe it felt too black you know for a second <laughs> yeah i grew up on class hey. side and then i grew up on motown from my dad's side so anytime you know i feel like he was trying the whole time trying to her my pop up and then be dancing slow dancing too. how they gonna figure out who was who out of this one how they gonna figure this out they didn't even ask enough good questions did the dude with the striped shirt ever even talk but but he got away with that one Everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> so we know where, basically. <laughs> Yo, we <made> Facts. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Okay. Okay. The goal is to try to figure out who isn't black. They've all, they all got masks on so they can't see anything, but their goal is to try to figure out who is not black. Right now, they're not doing the greatest job. You know what I'm saying? Because they're asking collective questions instead of get individual questions. You know what I'm saying? Songs that they say that I honestly didn't know word by word what to, what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? I don't even know. I, I ain't gonna cap. I ain't even know the answer to that one. I'm about to say, like, that was that was way too detailed, my boy. That was way too detailed. No, he was singing. He was actually singing. He was actually singing. I caught him low key because he said we colored it. He's not. All right. I don't know why he asked that question. Chad, do y'all know that answer? It's a famous line, y'all. I got another. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Famous line. Now I feel like I'm out of the loop. Am I not black enough, Chad? Chad, am I not? Am I not black enough, Chad? I don't. 
I have no idea. I have I he's like, okay. All right, cool. The messenger said he don't know it either. So, obviously, obviously, none of us is black, <laughs> according to him. He might be the mole. Hold on. this song. Uh, that boy got stretchy pants. pants. Come on, <laughs> bro. Come on, stretchy pants. pants. What is that? Ah, uh, that look, bro. They need to be. Hey, they not. Hey, they not peeping. If you don't know that, bro, come on, bro. You might have you suspicious. Anybody know what it is? When you he said, I don't know that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To cook yeah. it real good. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my mom whipping it up. Mm-hmm. That food is okay. I was listening so intently on, on voices because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? You can tell us a black person on the other side. So you Facts. Like, hey, Facts. You know, talking. And like, oh, yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, Won't he will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. This is true. What uh, favorite Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. You mean purple? Uh, <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> that was good. 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 That was a good one. That was a good one. He said, you mean purple? <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, <laughs> hey, I don't like red Kool Aid the whole time, so this is I feel him. By colors, we don't go by we don't go by that. What yeah. you just said. Wait, wait, but hold up. Why is that <laughs> crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. Ah, I mean, oh, dang. Grape. We used to call work is grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by. Bro, okay. First of all, they both gotta get packed up. He, the, the dude been telling, he told us we call it Welch's grape soda. Wait, wait, he say grape soda or grape juice? Cause Welch's right, got grape we soda? We don't go by colors, we don't go by, we don't go by that, what yeah. you just said. Wait, wait, but hold up, why is that crazy? Cause grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call, we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know, it's just. <laughs> Welch's got grape soda? <laughs> what are we doing? And wait a minute, did y'all used to, did y'all used to get Welch's? Y'all could afford Welch's? Nah, bro. This, well, he telling it all, bro. Yeah. He would have been out of there with me. Not purple. Mm. Red flag. He was trying to come at me about the grape. But honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool-Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors, <laughs> say stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the summers, it was either if you were outside, or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't no running in and running up, and, up and inside your house, you know. So, y'all, y'all feel that? Or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let that good air out. <laughs> Don't let that good air out, facts. Women from the '90s. Who do you think of off the rip? Be along. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna say. Uh, uh, it's a good one. Uh, uh, ah, shit, what's her name? Ra- she was a rapper. Um, wow, what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett, or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. <laughs> Man, you take them forever. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther, who is the queen? You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela. Her name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta know her name. From a different world, I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing mm. up, my sister Raven Simone, Tyra Banks. Nice. No, yeah, but say Tyra from the nineties, but Raven is. <laughs> Raven isn't even close. What? what is, nah, he sounded mad, so he got to get up out of here. Pack him up. Appreciate y'all. Hey. I was matching with is gone now, bro. When it comes to Gabrielle Union. I don't even know if Gabrielle Union could really be like 90s for real. I think that she came in like a little bit later in 90s. When I think 90s females, I'm thinking like TLC, Aaliyah, like those type people. Microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Man, I'd be chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the for the, dang for the diversity, life. For, the, for, the, for the diversity, right? I'm like, they only 5%. I got to give them credit though, because like finding us, it's going to be a little bit tough, but like they, they found a way regardless. I ain't even going to lie, Loke. I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far, like college and shit like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. yeah it's like the low key racist thing. Yeah. Like, not like you're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a grown man. Black guy. They fold their lips like 
and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird face. Or they face, give you, you know hella I mean? space on the sidewalk, or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch their purse. Yeah. Microaggressions. Clutch like, the bag. Or take the next elevator. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of that. All of that. Hella room in the elevator too. Stare at you like you ain't supposed to be here. Okay. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like Loving Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Dude. So you already know. Like I am my brother's keeper. That's some real shit. So I'll tell you what, man. I watched the uh, the first Power Rangers movie like twice a day for like the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, Yo, Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. I say, don't be acting like y'all ain't watch Power Rangers, bro. I mean, he would. He's obviously not he not hip with the culture because obviously Power Rangers was a iconic staple during that time. So we're not about to just do that. Yeah, hard is hard. It is. I watch I watch anime too. Oh wait, you watch yeah. anime? Uh, what you sure what you like? What you like? I can buy both of these for shows again. Okay, oh, Y'all Naruto, come on, like don't laugh at me. But I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, uh, uh, no, no, that was good. Hey, hey. Watch Disney, let's I mean? watch a Disney Channel. Boy, y'all know about that static. I'm dead. Shock. Come on, I was shock. literally just about Static to Shock is Static Shock. I met his voice actor, bro. He was you did. Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black, every single black, every. And Samurai Jack. He's Man's black. got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question. Cause I never knew that, chat. And Pokemon. Like, vibing, man. Yeah. Too much, yeah, right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> even if you white, we gotta tap in, for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. You say even if you white, you gotta... okay, so... why does that bother you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 he's all one, bro. <laughs> he, he, he trying to be very little. <laughs> He trying to be every little thing, boy. He ain't playing no games. You ain't even have to point that out, bro. <laughs> okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being uh, a Russian girl. And my dad was, he he always used to throw hints like, hey, man, you know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I, I knew like the his upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism stuff. So he kind of had like the hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. He definitely, he definitely wanted. Or, you know, family members like say, hey, like, I mean, my mother was from Shreveport, so, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already, like, in her late 50s, so okay. she wasn't playing with none of that, really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love, but at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, you know, we would love for it to be. Wait a white. minute, Chad, wait a minute. Because, look, because I know that he's white, but I'm not sure if he's, like, trying to put on the front or if that story was accurate to like actually his life or is he just trying to like you know what i mean because i'm thinking about it like and it ain't nothing wrong if, if you know what i'm saying if, if he's white and that's how his parents was and he didn't want him to mess with like black women and stuff like that but i'm just trying to figure out if that was his journey or if he was trying to like make himself sound like he could fit in my mother was from freeport so you know she used to be on that um and she was older when she had me she was already like in her late 50s so okay she wasn't playing with none of that really i don't think my parents ever put they just want me to look having you at 50 love, is crazy though know? always that underlying like you know, we would love to be a black woman you know what i mean yeah it was actually the same for me they never said don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that but I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister, for sure. Like, oh, shoot, like, you're, you're with somebody who understands you, right. who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis, from the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever, too, but, like, I appreciate a sister, like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. Who they gonna choose, Chad? Who do you think they gonna choose? They're gonna be, they're gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tired, bro. It's gonna be tired. But who do they, who they got suspicion of? Who y'all think they got suspicion of? We have a tie between I know. Rob and Brevin. Really? <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, like I said. Um, I didn't have a traditional, like, upbringing as far as, like, dating um, a lot of different people because I am a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had a, uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard. I don't know. I'm black, y'all. I'm black. <laughs> My name Robert. I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, I'm not going to cap chat. He's already caught. 
He's already caught because everybody knows that you never say your full government. Like you just never say your full. If, if people know you by Rob, you're Rob. Like, what are you talking about? Ain't no Robert here. It's just Rob. It's literally just Rob, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Pack him up, man. Get him up out of here. They got to pack him up. I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother three sisters and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets. Uh, yeah, look, he already, look, he already looking, bro. Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged and I relate more to struggle. Hearing some of the things that he was saying, it kind of like made me think and like second guess. Bro, in my that... brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. <laughs> I'm dead. Hey, hey, I, hey, I appreciate the try, bro. <laughs> they tried, like you tried again. Wow. What? I voted huh? Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm just going to say that, like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, you know, that's just a case where he could, like, relate to a lot of, like, black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm. Uh, but he might not be, like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So I'm gonna say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. Bruh. Oh my yeah, God, bro. bro. Like he yeah. sound like people from around my way. So <laughs> he. Y'all boys is crazy. But you gotta kick rocks. <laughs> I, I hear it in Brevin's voice sure. too, though. Like, that's the thing. I hear it in both. Yeah, I but, hear it yeah. for sure. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you gonna really relate? Or? That is tough. But to be honest, it will actually, to be fair, he did quote a movie and nobody knew the answer to it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a great question. <laughs> now he probably would have already known it. Rob probably. Rob actually, now nah, he's Robert at the end of the day. He's Robert because that's what he said. You know? The fact that they about to pack up Brevin. I mean, he can get packed up. I don't really care, but I don't know how they didn't pick, pick that up. Yeah, Rob sound like he know good catfish. I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people but it's okay it's all good i think the mole is still in the box and you want to continue playing the game raise your hand no stop what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing wait what are you doing what are you doing i knew i wasn't gonna get eliminated um why is that i don't know i just came in like i was gonna win really already Said I was gonna win. But. So let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black people in, you know, our community and stuff like that. Since the beginning of the US, um, with the obvious mistreatment of Yeah, he, he you could tell he grew up in the environment, but pertaining to being able to further us as people. We go by us. we go by one name and only, bro, in it. No and he talking about he from South Central. He ain't calling. He ain't saying I'm Robert in South Central. It's not happening. Tax information with all that stuff, so we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve. As a <laughs> Remind you of Kanye? <laughs> that's a, that's a good comparison. Because the more don't go after this information, the more situation continues to remain the same. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. It never stays within the black community. The game banger. Yeah, that gotta elaborate, stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point of game banging no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you game banging, uh, and then it got so bad where you, you know everybody that run black in prison is together, even if you from the enemy side, the op side, or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I supposed to game bang, shoot he talked, and he talked, and if right. I get caught and I gotta go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense, and there's no money involved. So. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, yeah. you know? I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, 
He's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against like the school or anything the people he's around, but I feel like the ideas and uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around from his uh, you know early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open-minded to new possibilities, opportunities are out there. We just got you know open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us. You know, this might be on the fault of like the media. But I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like the way we talk about that's a like, black answer. We talk about things like I think that there's just so much more to the black yeah. community than that. I want to see black people doing goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Yeah, what? Talk about it. Or criminals or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're oh. gangsters. Yeah. Or killers. Oh, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America, but like you go to China, you go to like some of these other places, like that's yeah. all they see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Damn. Word. Y'all yeah, gonna be real? Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Same. Oh man. They about to let this dude win, bro. I can't believe it. Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Come on. No if way. If the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. Why did they pick Gabe? They didn't even get no ex explanation. All right. So that's unanimous. We're going to end the game right then and there, okay? Yeah, the wild, green, bro. That means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one. Three. The whole time. Two. One. It is red. That means the what? mole is still here. He told us some sheesh. You guys can lift your blindfolds and Three. Look, look. <laughs> that was two. eager. He saw a Crafty One. Hunter. I'm dead. They would have never got me, bro. They would have never <laughs> got me, bro. <laughs> That's Rob. That's Rob. Oh, I'm Brevin. What? Brevin? Yo, what's up? Hey, he felt a type of way. Yo, I'm Brevin. Y'all want to be out over him? Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. Exactly. I, that's I felt the same way. I felt like they did not ask enough cultured questions or questions. Cause like he was only talking about gangbang life and South Central and all of that stuff. I don't feel like he they was talking about real like, stuff that I really catch send somebody up from another race. You know what I mean? When he said Robert, but I go by Rob, like, like nah, bro. Of course there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like not like Rob, like that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they called me Milk. I'm from South Central. I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. <laughs> My whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until yeah, I was like that's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every, birthday but i never really that never really like bothered me i guess is it hard for you to fit in with white people oh it was it's getting a little better huh. uh, what about for black people then is it easier or was it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? nah 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 i mean that's all i was around my whole life yeah, jail, yeah. county jail yeah. juvenile yeah. hall every yeah. party yeah. every <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course his nickname would be milk <laughs> i didn't think about that bro that's crazy the chosen people nah that would have been a crazy question he would have been no nah, you know what's crazy though he probably wouldn't even have been the one that's giving all the backlash it'll probably been the one with the ashkenazi jew mom that's facts like they just all accept you because i got sides of my white family that like they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because i had a black dad no nah, no nah, hell no nah. no nah, i had a good family he had a my mom married a what's black that? man they sat shibbets for her which basically in the jewish community means that you're dead to me what chat y'all hear this can't relate to anybody. Chad, wait a minute. She married a black man. They sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. Oh. He needs some Chad. milk. He said that they said because the Jewish woman married a black man, a real Jew, they said that he was dead to her. That's crazy.
these are the same people that want to always, you know, this, but this is how they feel about us. He says mom is Jewish and his dad is black, which is a crazy situation. I mean, you still a chosen one, which is good. You know what I mean? But man. In the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost um lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby. Why can't he relate though? Wow. Oh, you talking about for his mom. He, he seemed like he's socially awkward. Still. Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's exactly. There's black folk in the world. Like, me personally, I'm happy. We're not as monolithic as a lot of people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We all originated Facts. in Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. All right, Chad, what y'all think about that? I don't know how, how they didn't get that, like, like, straight off the bat. And then the fact that he, well, he, I guess he couldn't have said that his nickname was Milk, because obviously he, that would have been mad suspicious. The fact that he said, my name is Robert and I go by Rob, bro, I feel like at that point, they should have already knew what was up. I don't know, man. I'm white, 